Hey everyone, um, <laughs> it's been a while. Feels weird to be in front of the camera after a couple weeks. Um, I wanted to post an update. Um, I'm gonna try to make it as quick as I can, but there's a lot to say. And um, before I go any further, I just wanna say the reason that I'm doing this uh, by myself is because um, yesterday was a really tough day um, for everyone, but uh, Nick's just feeling really down. He's like, I'm not sure if, if I'll be able to really do a whole um, video update without totally breaking down. <laughs> um, it's been a rough couple of weeks. We have had a lot to deal with. Uh, through the updates, we've tried to let you guys know kind of what's going on, but um, <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> the background. I tried to do this earlier, but um, it's been, um, a, like I said, a rough day. So a lot of stuff going on um, between paperwork that we've had to fill out. And uh, next week, we were supposed to be leaving on Wednesday of next week. And we barely got the passport on Friday. The next step is getting a tax ID number, uh, which will allow us to open the bank account, which will allow us to um, do applications of um, surgery qualifications and such. So Monday she has um, an appointment with a facial, I don't, I don't really know the specific term, but um, a facial, specialists who will determine the eligibility of the surgery just because they're saying it's too advanced and too close to the eye socket uh, that it might just be too invasive so um, that's on Monday and then uh, we also have an appointment for the tax ID number on Monday hopefully that'll uh, get taken care of and um, Tuesday we have an appointment to remove a catheter, uh, a double J catheter I believe it's called uh, that she currently has and then Wednesday um, she has an appointment with a psychologist to evaluate her um, basically f um, fitness I guess, her mental ability to uh, make the medical decisions on her own um, otherwise we'll be the ones to kind of step in and and help uh, in that regard as well so as you can see there was no way that we could possibly leave on Wednesday leaving all of this stuff uh, unsettled so we have extended our trip and now we're leaving on Thursday the 22nd um, this is stressful for us in itself because, um, of course, we are extremely stressed here and, and doing so much. Um, and it's a lot emotionally, too. Uh, not only the physical side of just feeling completely exhausted every single day, but just, you know, like... I've known Claudia since I was 18 years old when Nick and I started dating and just to see her now the way that she is, the way that she moves, um, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's absolutely a lot. And for Nick, um, you know, it, it's been really, really tough because he just having this picture of his mom being the strong arm of the family and who was always so well put together and now she's just this fragile being and dealing with a lot of um you know mental uh, uh emotional issues herself too um so it's just been really really hard on us and now having to extend the trip of course this comes with additional expenses we've spent a lot more than we thought we were going to here um, as well and having to <laughs> extend the car rental which is now gas um, and the another uh, Airbnb so we're 
another week off of unpaid work and um, I did reach out to them and let them know, but um, it is all unpaid time for both of us paying rent there, paying Airbnb here. It's, um, we're just <laughs> saturated in every way, but we want to say how much we love and appreciate all of you for your thoughts, your prayers, your kind words of love and support, your emails of constant checking in. And um, it's just indescribable the amount of love that we've received um, the weeks that we've been here have been very very hard but you guys have made it that much better and it's just amazing that we have this community of people who are truly behind us a hundred percent and just can't explain how heartwarming that is for us both um we wanted to say several of you said that um we should open up uh, or extend the fundraiser. It didn't let us do that. Um, then you suggested we create a new one if we needed it to reach out. So um, with a heavy heart, we will be opening up um, a new uh, fundraiser through PayPal. Uh, we can try the GoFundMe, a couple of you said. Um, PayPal's policies um, were not in line um you can always do buy me a coffee too but i'll be opening up another paypal one just because it's um that's really what we use for a lot of the payments uh for the airbnb and things so it really helps us out in that way but um if there's any other way that you prefer just please reach out but please don't feel obligated this is not to put a burden on you um but just because so many of you have said you know don't be afraid to tell us um how the situation is financially so we're just here to say you know we do have to extend the trip we did not expect um the expenses to be this large and with everything having to be done so quickly there's often um expedited fees and uh you know just having to um deal with getting Claudia like a whole new um, set of things that she didn't have um, which of course we expected but um, just it was a lot more than we thought which is crazy because we already knew that it was going to be a lot <laughs> but nothing could have prepared us for this we are um, humbled by everyone saying how proud you are of us and I have to second that um, this is something that we'll both never forget. We're both learning from um, this experience. We're both um, taking this as a learning experience for us both. Oh, here's the church bells. <laughs> um, just to really also, I wanted to include this in the video because a lot of you guys are within the age range uh, of Nick's mom and um, just please take care of yourselves. Um, please do as much as you can for preventative care just to avoid um, having to deal with something so big later on. And of course, Claudia's situation was a million things piled together, but um, we just want to throw a word out there to all of you to please take care of yourselves. Don't brush things off. Um, check up on yourselves. Check up on family members. Specifically in this case, as you know, it was a series of family members that were closer than us and had the ability to travel that we didn't have um, that just failed us. Um, so and for those of you who don't know just a little bit of a background story um through the this was the first opportunity that we had of coming to spain after claudia left us in uh 2016 because nick was in the process of getting his green card resolved and while that process is 
um, taking place, you're not able to leave the country. And if you leave, you're not able to return. So uh, he had a constant communication with uh, Claudia every day. And I can say every day very freely, but maybe there was a day that she didn't answer or that we didn't call. But when I say every day, it was at least probably five times a week. Um, and, you know, we got responses that um, probably to keep us calm and um, to help us feel reassured that weren't necessarily 100% um, the truth. And that's what I mean. Uh, please reach out to family members if you need the help. Um, don't be afraid to tell your kids or your grandkids or your nephews or nieces or whoever is out there extending a helping hand. Please take it. Um, because we do think it's important to to mention that because um, she did have family members who promised to help that didn't. Um, but we just, for your situation, uh, we wouldn't want anybody to have to go through this um, that we're going through now. So it's it's just a way of telling you guys that we love and care for all of you. And we truly, truly hope that you're all happy and healthy and taking care of yourselves, uh, routine checkups and, you know, don't, don't, um, like I said, don't brush things off or leave things for tomorrow. We're taking that lesson ourselves. Um, you know, we are much younger than Claudia, of course, but time sneaks up on you and we really are keeping that in mind to take care of ourselves now. Um, so that we're strong and healthy when when we do reach that age because um, it really is important to take care of our bodies and um, do as much as we can so that time doesn't catch up with us later. But um, please know that we really think of you guys every day. We often just talk about how blessed we are to have you and to have the channel and just your thoughts, um, even though you're not commenting every day, we feel your presence. We feel the prayers and the light and the energy coming our way. And, and we just wanted to thank you all for that. Um, so please know we will be back to making videos um, before the end of the month. Um, since we return on the 22nd, um, you know, it'll be a couple days I guess uh, while we get used to the time change and then going straight back to work but um, we wanted to mention also that we have some old or videos that we pre-recorded uh, before we left we have not posted those because often people get confused and um, it's hard to leave it clear that we're not in fact back at the in the room um, that we're out so uh, let us know what you think if we should post those or not um, but the videos uh, for the patreon for example that uh, we committed to delivering those um, we talked about trying to find moments here and there to record uh, we forgot the computer charger and we tried using a different uh, adapter for it and it kind of went a little bit crazy. We didn't want to break anything, but um, if we're not able to deliver that content before the end of the month is over, uh, please know to all of our Patreon uh, supporters that next month, October, uh, we'll be doing double. So two full albums uh, for... Um, songs so everything that you get in one month we'll squeeze it all into october to to make sure um but yeah it's just really hard because we are dealing with all of this you know we miss marley to pieces it's silly but he's just such a big part of our lives and he's constantly with us and constantly used to having us with him and just knowing that we're not there for him also breaks our heart and he um when we have tough times he often makes them better <laughs> and he's not here to help us through that and it's just crazy how a little furry creature can make so much um that much better uh but you know 
so many things that just are in our minds and in our hearts right now that are really heavy and um, really hard to, to deal with. But just knowing that we have you, um, even though we don't have that extra you know, income from requests or the channel that we typically use to pay off the car and um, expenses uh, like that. So it's, it's just a little bit too much right now and we're um, just saying um, thank you so much for the amazing outpour of support that we received um, when we left and we're here to say um, please don't feel obligated. We'll leave the link in the description little bit goes a long way if you're able to help out in any way that you can please do so but don't make our burden yours don't put yourself in a situation where oh you're you're stretching yourself thin to help us please don't do it um if that's the case but let me um just close this by saying we're having a really hard time we really miss you guys we're making the best of every day. We've uh, taken Claudia out to eat and talked with her and given her that emotional support. Go see her, uh, you know, watch some movies, just um, maybe sneak in some ice cream <laughs> here and there with her. Uh, just a couple bites because she's not supposed to have that much, but uh, you know, just trying to really make the best, enjoying the beautiful um, sights and views, learning from a culture that is absolutely different than any culture that we have. Uh, you know, me being Mexican-American, Nick being German, having lived in Mexico many years with an Italian father, it's just absolutely different. Um, and we'll talk about that. We've got a lot of stuff uh, that we've thought we should talk about this when we get back. We should make a video about this, but um, you know, here just time is just slipping through our fingers. And uh, though we wish that we could do, oops, um, a lot more, it's it would just put an extra strain that we know you guys wouldn't want it to be that. So um, let me just close by saying we love you all. We appreciate you all and everything that you do for us. Um, please share, um, continue sharing your prayers and your thoughts with us, your comments. Go back and watch our old videos. Let us know if you think we should post uh, some of those videos that we recorded before we left. Um, there's not that many, uh, but we do have some to share let us know if if that would be a good idea to at least give you guys something we just didn't want to create any confusion because even though sometimes we're very specific with things and we announce things it sometimes gets lost so um thank you guys so much for everything you are all a blessing in our lives we love you and we'll see you in the next one bye everyone